spring cleaning. Psh, done. Check. That. Check. Yes. Checked. Now, let's go shopping online and let's watch some Netflix. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dyla's Homemaking Tips here with you for another cleaning tip video. In today's video, I'll be showing you tips on how to do hassle-free cleaning. Come spring cleaning, I really don't like to do everything all in one weekend. That's why I kind of disperse the tasks in a matter of weeks instead of just one little weekend. It's always best to jumpstart those areas that we can forget about. So, I like to start off with the nooks and the crannies so I can get them out of the way. These are going to be super easy, cheap, hassle-free. You'll be done in no time because who wants to clean all day? Not me and I'm sure not you because we have better things to do right now during Corona like Netflix or YouTube. Without further ado, let's get started and please subscribe, comment, and like below. I would love to know what your thoughts are in regarding to these tips. So, let's get started. First thing on our list is to wipe off the grease off your cabinets. You can forget about them sometimes, but no worries. All you need is a spray bottle filled with very hot water half a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid and all you do is spray down your cabinet the degreasing effect of the dishwashing liquid is works wonders and all you do is wipe it off after letting it sit for like a minute Next up is to clean your cloudy glasses. I do everything in my cabinet, but I'm going to show you only one. I fill up a bucket with hot water and fill in some vinegar in there, place the glasses in there and let it sit for 30 minutes, wiggle it around once in a while and voila, wipe it off nice and shiny. After that, I use the solution that I use to clear my glasses with and I dump it in the toilet. I add some toilet bowl cleaner and after 30 minutes, I nicely clean my toilet with the toilet wand, flush, and there are no more water rings or hard water stains. Next up is the coffee machine. Fill it up halfway with water, add some vinegar, about half a cup, let it run with the water and the vinegar and let it run twice. After you let it run twice, wipe down the coffee machine, fill up the pot with clean, fresh water, only water, and let that run once. After that, your coffee machine would be nice and spotless. You have no clue how nasty these cutting boards can get, but there's always a solution to kill that bacteria. So drizzle some salt on there, take a lime or lemon, really, really use some elbow grease to scrub it down, wash it clean, and voila, nice and white, no more marks. If you leave that diffuser and you don't take care of it, it gets nasty. See? Ugh. So, all you need for that is your dishwashing liquid and soap solution. Add some bleach, fill it up with water, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then clean it off with a brush. I like to use this brush, and I also like to use a, um, it's a bottle brush for the babies, like the tiny ones. Yep. 
that gets into every nook and cranny. So once I do that, it's spotless. And I do this once every other month. I did tell you I'm going to get to the nooks and the crannies, so right now I'm about to clean my shower head. I use vinegar, I fill the Ziploc bag up with vinegar, I place the shower head in there and let it sit for two hours. After that, I take a toothbrush. Dollar Tree has three toothbrush for a dollar and I use them as my cleaning tools. And once I do that, I scrub it with the toothbrush and I let the water run on hot in every single um, spray option there is. This tip can be used for any kind of coffee stain in mugs, tea stains in kettles, any kind of food stain in anything. All you do is take a quarter cup of bleach, fill it up with hot water, let it wait for 30 minutes, and spill and clean. It's so nice and spotless, but I did use the bleach solution in there. Now I'm filling up my sink to clean my rags because rags can carry a lot of bacteria. Now you want to freshen up your shoes. I take two coffee filters for each pair, fill it up with baking soda and just place it inside the shoe and let it sit for one whole day. There is no stench, no fumes, no yucky odors, it's just great. And lastly, for today, I am going to be using a magic eraser. I like to break it apart because I don't like to waste a whole eraser on it because it can get pricey. And now I'm removing marker stains. All I did was spray my detergent and water solution, wiped up with the magic eraser, and voila so clean yes my dearies thank you so much for watching this video please do come back but first you have to subscribe hit that bell and i will see you in my next video till next time bye